Electricity. Its use in our homes and workplaces is so common that we often take it for granted. In addition, many people, including workers who consider themselves qualified, don't fully understand the dual dangers presented by electricity. Every year, workers are seriously injured or killed by contacting energized parts or being subjected to an electrical arc flash. To prevent these types of incidents, electrical workers and the organizations they work for must understand and follow up-to-date electrical safety-related work practices, maintenance requirements, and administrative controls. One of the leading authorities on electrical safety is the National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA. Their document number 70E is recognized by many regulatory authorities and organizations as the best practices for electrical safety. In today's program, we will provide an overview of the 2015 edition of NFPA 70E and learn how following its guidelines helps keep electrical workers safe. In order to identify and avoid electrical hazards, workers must first understand that there are two main hazards presented by energized electrical equipment. The first hazard of electricity is electric shock, which can occur when a worker makes direct contact with or comes too close to energized parts. As did this worker who neglected to test the equipment for an absence of voltage and failed to wear rubber insulating gloves. The second hazard of electricity is exposure to an arc flash. Unprotected workers can suffer severe burns when exposed to the sudden violent release of energy associated with an electric arc. As was this worker who neglected to wear arc rated clothing. To protect workers from the hazards of electricity, the NFPA 70E establishes approach limits at specific distances from exposed energized parts or potential arcs. 